when naming compounds and whatnot, we have to be aware of the seven diatomic molecules. So these are elements that exist in nature in pairs. And since they are, even though they're in pairs, each of the single items in the pair are the same element, we just call them by their elemental name. So typically, if we're talking about potassium, we would just be talking about a K. Or argon, we'd be talking about AR for argon. But if we say oxygen, we would automatically assume it's going to be O2. Why is that? Because it's one of the seven diatomic molecules. They just come this way. Some students like the weird acronym, your, uh, your uncle Hunklebrief. Yeah, everybody has their own thing. So this was not my thing, but a lot of kids love this. It's your uncle Hunklebrief. So if you know that, that works. I prefer to actually look at the periodic table. Every test you get, you will have a periodic table. So if you have this and this is mapped out a certain way, then you can think of the seven diatomic molecules. Now, how many are there? There are seven, like the atomic number seven and nitrogen. And so what I say is go to the seven and make a seven. So that looks like a seven to me. And that would be six of the seven diatomic molecules. So it looks, uh, I don't know, it looks like a seven. Um, so go to the seven, make a seven, and don't forget hydrogen over here. That would be the seven diatomic molecules. So you won't be able to bring in a periodic table that's all marked up. Like pretty soon you're going to have it like one plus, two plus, three plus, and over here you have a zero, one minus, two minus, three minus, et cetera. This is pretty simple and straightforward. You won't be able to bring that in, but if you understand how this is mapped out, you will have a periodic table to look at, and therefore knowing the seven diatomic molecules is gonna be really important. So the next obvious question is, if we're talking about nitrogen, and nitrogen automatically is N2 because it's one of the seven, how do we call it when it's just nitrogen? Well, if it's just a single N, we have to refer to this as monoatomic. So this is monoatomic nitrogen. And it makes sense that you would have to do the extra special stuff in terms of naming because this is not normal. It doesn't exist as nitrogen on its own. It may exist in a compound containing nitrogen, but it doesn't exist as nitrogen on its own in nature. It exists as N2, and therefore the diatomic molecules are just named as their elemental name, and we have to assume it's one of the seven, and therefore it's a two behind it. If we said hydrogen gas, hydrogen gas is a, something that exists in nature, and since it's hydrogen gas, we would say it's H2, not H. Again, why? Because it's one of the seven diatomic molecules. So think of a mnemonic, think of whatever, use what I told you, but you'll need to know the seven.